J.R.R. Tolkien's expansive and wondrous world of Middle-earth is home to some unimaginably powerful beings. From legendary heroes and wizards to flame-wreathed balrogs and dragons, the series is filled with epic battles. While fans have likely settled on who reigns supreme among the beloved hobbits, the debate continues on who would emerge victorious in a battle royale among the most powerful characters from both the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. For fairness, we will be excluding the almighty valor and the supreme deity Eru Iluvatar, as well as a few other characters from the Silmarillion. Who do you think ranks at the top when it comes to the strongest characters in Middle-earth? Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring. One, the Dark Lord Sauron. Who I am, are ye? Who he is? Ah, Sauron, the ultimate nuisance of Middle-earth an expert in being a thorn in everyone's side. Once upon a time, he was just Melkor's eager apprentice, but soon he earned his title as Dark Lord after Melkor was kicked to the curb by the Valor. With a flair for the dramatic, Sauron embarked on a long journey to conquer all of Middle-earth. What he can do, Sauron started out as a student of the Vala and famed Smith Allen, so he knows a thing or two about crafting rings. This talent allowed him to create the rings of power. But it's not just rings he's skilled in, he's also a master liar. His knack for deception can convince even the most skeptical elf or human to believe his nonsense. Plus, he can transform into a variety of creepy forms, like a vampire or werewolf, just for fun. Memorably Powerful Moments In the guise of the so-called Lord of Gifts, Sauron sneaks into elvish society to teach them the art of ring-making. Little do they know, it's all a trap. He's secretly forging the one ring to control all the other ring bearers. His ultimate goal? To bend everyone to his will and take over Middle Earth. He also plays a significant role in bringing about the downfall of Numenor. Even after being obliterated by Isildur, his spirit remains stubbornly uncrushed. He sticks around as a menacing, all seeing eye, rallying armies and commanding the Nazgul until Frodo finally manages to destroy the One Ring. Show yourself! Two, Gandalf the White. Who he is, meet Gandalf, also known as Mithrandir, Olorin, and a bunch of other names that make him sound like a wizardly celebrity. Originally a Maya chilling in the Undying Lands with other celestial beings and elves, Gandalf was sent to Middle-earth by the Valor as an Istar, or wizard, to help fight against Sauron and his evil shenanigans. He's like the ultimate guidebook for heroes, leading Thorin and his merry band of dwarves through a mountain of trouble in The Hobbit. Alongside the White Council, he also plays a crucial part in taking down Sauron when he shows up as the spooky necromancer in Dol Guldur. And let's not forget his big moment in The War of the Ring, where he doesn't just overcome obstacles, he literally rises from the dead to become Gandalf the White, what he can do. Not only is Gandalf packed with wisdom and knowledge, but he also boasts some seriously impressive magical skills, especially with light and fire spells. He can, with just a word, smash Saruman's staff and give the Dark Wizard a one-way ticket out of King Theoden's body. Plus, he's no slouch with a sword either. Wielding the legendary blade Glamdring, the foe hammer like a pro. Memorably powerful moments. Deep within the depths of Khazad Doom, the Fellowship encounters a nasty Balrog. Basically a Maya who had a bad makeover courtesy of Melkor. Gandalf takes this fiery beast head on in a dramatic showdown, battling it through the chasms of Moria while swinging his sword and dodging whips. He wins the fight, but not without a major cost, his life. Yet not even death can keep Gandalf down. He makes a grand comeback to continue his heroic efforts for Middle-earth. 3. Tom Bombadil, who he is. Enter Tom Bombadil, the most enigmatic character in Middle-earth. No one really knows what he is or where he came from. He's like the ultimate mystery man. He claims to remember a time even before the Valor graced the world with their presence. Tom rules over a quaint little patch of land called the Old Forest where he lives with his enchanting wife, Goldberry, a river spirit with a flair for magic. Tom spends his days singing, dancing, and generally living a whimsical woodland life, all while wielding an inexplicable power that's beyond anything anyone else has ever seen. Despite his enormous strength, he prefers to stay neutral 
during the epic battles of Middle-earth, what he can do. As ancient as the hills, perhaps even older than Iluvatar himself, Tom Bombadil is impervious to the influence of the One Ring. Frodo offers it to him, but Tom just chuckles and goes about his business. Within his forest domain, Tom's control over the land seems nearly limitless. His wife even calls him the master of wood, water, and hill. He's impossible to capture or imprison and can effortlessly deal with troublesome entities, like when he puts the rebellious old man Willow in its place after it tries to squish Merry and Pippin. Memorably powerful moments. Tom's crowning achievement happens when he swoops in to save the four hobbits from the creepy whites in the Barrow Downs. These spooky, phantom-like creatures are notorious for dragging unsuspecting victims into their eerie lairs for some truly unpleasant, sacrificial rituals. The hobbits are caught by these ghoulish fiends and are on the brink of a dark fate when Frodo takes a stand. He cuts off one of the whites' hands and calls for Tom's help. In a flash, Tom appears and sings a powerful tune that sends the whites packing in a spectacular display of his prowess. Four, Lady Galadriel of Lothlorien, who she is. Meet Lady Galadriel, the Queen Bee of Lothlorien. She shares her rule with her husband, Lord Celeborn, and together they keep their woodland realm in top shape. Galadriel is also the proud grandmother of Arwen and has some serious family bragging rights as the niece of Feanor, the guy who whipped up those legendary dazzling Silmarils. Having played a major role in the Noldor Rebellion, she ditched the land of Valinor to make a new home in Middle-earth and show off her ruling skills. As if that's not enough, she's got one of the three powerful rings of power, Nenya, and sits at the cool kid's table of the White Council. What she can do, Galadriel is practically the magic diva of Middle-earth. Rumor has it she's got enchantress-level skills. She can chat telepathically, which is handy when you need to keep things on the down-low. Despite flaunting her own ring of power, she's able to resist the corruptive temptations of Sauron. She also possesses a mirror that's like a magical crystal ball, allowing her to peek into the future and offer insights about the past. Memorably powerful moments. Together with the White Council, she gives Sauron, in his spooky necromancer getup, a one-way ticket out of Dol Guldur. But her piece de resistance is when she turns down Frodo's offer of the One Ring. In this moment of epic self-control, she resists her own cravings for power and decides it's time to head back to Valinor. 5. Durin's Bane, the Balrog. Who he is. Meet Durin's Bane, the ultimate party crasher of the Mines of Moria. Once upon a time, Balrogs were just mire like Gandalf, but they took a dark turn thanks to Melkor's evil influence. This particular Balrog, also known as Durin's Bane, was stirred from its fiery nap by some overzealous dwarves digging too deep for Mithril. It promptly took its grudge out on King Durin VI and his son, creating a bit of a mess. Fast forward a few millennia, and this grumpy Balrog is reawakened by the Fellowship, leading to a showdown with Gandalf that's anything but a cozy chat. What he can do. As a fiery powerhouse, Durin's Bane brings serious heat to the table. With dark magic skills that could give even the most seasoned sorcerer chills, it's not just about looks. This Balrog wields a flaming sword and a whip of fire, perfect for turning any opposition into a scorched memory. Memorably powerful moments. Durin's Bane's epic clash with Gandalf in the depths of Moria is the stuff of legends. This Balrog is so tough it laughs off Gandalf's spells and holds its ground even when tossed into the abyss. Despite falling through the chasm, it's not ready to throw in the towel and ultimately succeeds in taking Gandalf down with it. It's a fiery finale that leaves an impression long after the dust settles. You've grown slow and fat in your dotage. Slug. 6. Smog, who he is. Say hello to Smog, the fire-breathing diva of the dragon world. This guy is all about gold and jewels. Seriously, if it sparkles, he's interested. After hearing about the dwarves' epic stash of treasure in Erebor, Smog goes on a rampage, wiping out nearby towns and crashing the mountain party like an uninvited guest. For 171 years, he lounges on his glittering horde, 
snoozing and plotting his next gold plundering adventure. Can you believe it? What he can do. As a colossal, fire spewing dragon, Smog isn't just your run of the mill fire breather. He boasts some seriously intimidating features. My armor is like tenfold shields, my teeth are swords, my claws are spears. The shock of my tail is a thunderbolt. My wings are a hurricane, and my breath, well, that's just plain death. Talk about a resume. Incredible, right? Memorably powerful moments. When Bilbo Baggins stumbles into Smog's lair and cheekily nicks a small piece of treasure, the dragon's fury is reignited. Smog takes to the skies in a fiery fit and swoops down on Lake Town like a dragon-sized storm. Despite Bard ultimately putting an end to this monumental menace, Smog manages to turn the town into a fiery ruin and sends many of its inhabitants straight to the history books in a blaze of glory. What a way to make an exit. Wow. Talk about going out with a bang. The power of the enemy is growing. 7. Elrond Half-Elven. Who he is. Meet Elrond, the Lord of Rivendell, and one of the coolest members of the White Council. He's the father of Arwen and hitched to Celebrian, who just happens to be the daughter of Galadriel and Celeborn. As a half-elf, thanks to his legendary human-elven ancestors, Baron and Luthien, Elrond had the ultimate choice, live as an elf or a human. His twin, Elros, opted for the human route and became the first king of Numenor and, well, eventually passed on. Elrond, however, chose the elven life and has since become an influential and ever so charming fixture in Middle-earth history. Ah, decisions, decisions. What he can do. Elrond is the proud ring-bearer of Vilya the strongest of the three elven rings of power. He's no stranger to combat, boasting impressive skills as a warlord. With his profound wisdom and diplomatic prowess, he's got the respect and loyalty of many elvish folk. Wow, talk about a resume. Memorably powerful moments. Elrond plays a crucial role in the last alliance of elves and men, taking part in epic battles to end Sauron's tyranny. After the Dark Lord is defeated, Elrond desperately urges Isildur to toss the One Ring into the fires of Mount Doom. The fact that he can even try to resist the ring's tempting influence is pretty impressive. In the Hobbit films, he doesn't hold back, putting up a fierce fight against the Nazgul and showing off his swordsmanship in the might of his Ring of Power. Ah, now that's how you make an entrance. Saruman. Who he is. Ah, Saruman once the shining star of the Astari sent to Middle-earth by the Valar. Initially tasked with opposing Sauron, Saruman was a great force for good on the White Council. However, over time, he fell prey to Sauron's dark allure and his own insatiable thirst for power. He eventually decided to ditch his noble mission, take over Isengard, and command an army of Uruk-hai and other nefarious forces. Talk about a dramatic fall from grace. What he can do. Saruman began by studying dark magic to better understand his enemy, but the temptation to use it for his own ends proved irresistible. He possesses the ability to gain far sight, knowledge, and communicate with the Dark Lord through his Palantir. Plus, he can control the minds and bodies of others, as demonstrated when he invades King Theoden's mind. Ah, the power of corruption. Memorably powerful moments. With his magic staff and expertise in dark sorcery, Saruman performs spells strong enough to subdue his fellow Astari, Gandalf, when he seeks counsel at Isengard. In the books, he manages a dramatic escape to the Shire after Isengard's fall, where he turns the peaceful land into a living nightmare. Wow, what a way to make an exit. 9. The Witch King of Angmar Who He Is Ah, the Witch King of Angmar, the head honcho of the Ringwraiths, or Nazgul if you're feeling fancy. Once a mighty king of men, he's now a shadowy, malevolent force, endlessly searching for the One Ring while riding his creepy winged fell beast. Corrupted by one of Sauron's rings of power, 
He and his eight nefarious buddies are on a relentless quest to hunt down Frodo and wreak havoc across Middle-earth. Talk about dedication. What he can do. As an undead wraith, the Witch King is basically invincible to any living man. His dark blade is cursed, leaving wounds that never truly heal, like that annoying paper cut that just won't go away. He has the unsettling ability to sense when someone puts on the One Ring, thanks to his connection through his own Ring of Power. And let's not forget, he's a battle-hardened warrior who's claimed countless victories and turned many a city into dust throughout Middle-earth's history. Wow, what a resume. Memorably powerful moments. Before the War of the Ring, the Witch King wreaked havoc across the Northern Territories for centuries. Though he managed to conquer quite a bit, he eventually had to retreat to Minas Morgul. During the War of the Ring, he led a campaign of sheer violence and domination, with one of his crowning achievements being the capture of Osgiliath. Ah, such a dark and powerful force. Who enters my domain? The King of the Dead Who He Is Meet the King of the Dead, a once mortal ruler who made a grand oath to assist Isildur if ever called upon. However, in a twist of dark irony, this treacherous king is secretly in cahoots with Sauron. When Isildur does call for help, the king stands him up. Major, oops. This betrayal results in Isildur's curse, dooming the king and his army to an eternity of restless, spectral existence. For thousands of years, the king of the dead is stuck haunting his grim halls, until Aragorn shows up and offers him a shot at redemption by aiding Gondor in battle. Talk about a second chance. What he can do. The king and his ghostly legion are basically the ultimate untouchables. They can't be hurt or killed, but they can sure dish out some serious pain. They come crashing down on their enemies like a supernatural wave of force, unstoppable and overwhelmingly powerful. Wow, memorably powerful moments. When Aragorn rolls up to the halls of the dead, the king faces a dramatic dilemma. Fulfill his ancient oath or remain stuck in ghostly purgatory. After a dramatic cascade of skulls and a crumbling hall, the king finally decides to step up. He and his ghostly army become a game changer in the War of the Ring, turning what looked like a losing battle into a victorious surge. Ah, what a comeback. And there you have it. The list of the most powerful characters in Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit has come to an end. Wow, each of these figures leaves an extraordinary mark on Middle-earth. Who do you think is the most impressive? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be the first to know about the latest content on Middle-earth and more. Also, turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Ah, what an exciting journey.